about Drew at the end? Oh, like picturing my brother being crushed to death by cinder blocks. Wondering if it hurt, if he had any last thoughts. I guess I just accept him now. It's like a song that gets stuck in your head. It's there whether you like it or not, so might as well sing along. I've watched my mom die a thousand times in my mind, running into the basement, grabbing her rosary beads, screaming in fear. It's always a little different each time. The differences are the fucking worst. But maybe talking about it helps. Yeah, maybe. You know we don't have to keep playing. Let's try. I believe Elamon was about to enter the mayor's hidden bunker. Sounds right. Minus five HP. Oh, come on. How is your GMing even more devious from Seattle? Must be the rain. Hey, listen. You know next week is the... Well, it's the thing. One year. I was thinking... Why don't you come? It'll be... Well, you know. It'll be fucking horrible, but... Maybe a little less horrible if we're both there? Yeah, that sounds good. Why are you doing this? I said we could stop. No, I mean, why are you doing this? I ghosted you, again. When I ghost people, they go away, that's how it works. But you didn't. Why? What do you think? Because I'm such a car wreck of a person, you can't look away even if you want to. Is that really what you think? Fuck. Steph, I've taken a lot of shit from you over the years, but this... I need you. That's why I keep coming back. In high school, I didn't know who I was without being Steph's best friend. And now when we hang out, it feels like I'm bringing that part of myself back from the dead. I need you because I'm not strong enough to be my real self without you in my life. That's it. It's pretty fucking dumb of me, huh? Mikey, I'm so sorry. I know you are. It's not just you. If it makes you feel any better, I do this shit to everyone. It doesn't, but continue. Ever since Arcadia Bay, it's like the moment I start to care about someone or some place, that's it. It's a matter of time before I find something wrong. And I'm out. Maybe that's okay. Maybe being a wandering weirdo is your destiny. Like Elamon, adventure will always find you. I never thought of it that way. Hey, that's why I'm here. 
I don't deserve you as a best friend. But I promise I'll do better. Because the truth is, I need you too. Now will you quit stalling and take your damn turn? Just because Elamon's totally screwed doesn't mean you get to distract me all night. He is? I think you're forgetting about the protection amulet I got off that Cyclops last session. I don't forget anything, and don't think I don't have any Halloween surprises planned for you. Oh, spooky. Okay, we've had no calls in the past hour, which means you're all either partying or sleeping. Both of which I respect. I gotta say though, if you haven't tried spending New Year's Eve locked in a small room talking to yourself, I highly recommend it. Honestly, I might do this every year. Hey there, you're live on KRCT and I'm not alone in the universe. Who's this? Hey, it's Gabe. It's everyone's favorite bartender. How's the Black Lantern? Anyone make out with the taxidermy yet? <sighs> I don't know. I left the work so I could talk to you about something. Great. Let me throw in a song and then call you. No, no, I meant... I called the show so I could talk to... the psychic. Oh. All right. What's on your mind? There's... someone in my family who might be totally alone right now. I've been thinking of reaching out to her. The thing is, it's been seven years. And all that time, I never got in touch. Maybe you weren't ready yet. Maybe if you had, it wouldn't have helped either of you. <sighs> no, look, the truth is, I'm terrified of talking to her. I don't know what she's been through. I don't even know if she's okay. I'm freaking out that she hates me, and honestly, I bet I could handle that if I knew it was coming. So, I'm calling you to ask. What's gonna happen if I contact her? What's she gonna say? You know I'm not actually psychic, right? Shh, shh, shh. Don't ruin it. Okay. Give me a second. Guess what? It's looking bright. Seriously? What would be super good for Gabe? The day you call her, you're a ball of nerves. You get the number wrong four times. And when she finally picks up and says, hello. You're so terrified, you pretend to be Geico. What? 
She blocks your number. You have to call back on a landline. But hearing her voice changed everything. Suddenly, the most important thing in the world is making sure she's okay. Now you're on a mission, and your own fears don't matter anymore. You're too busy sending her jokes and making time to hear about the worst part of her day. You're still afraid you'll screw things up. And you do. A lot. But underneath, there's a sense of security. Because now you're driven by a purpose that will always steer you back to her, no matter what happens. Thanks. Thank you for calling. How's the station? You lonely over there? Honestly, no. Things are pretty great. Okay. Then I'll see you. Read ads, play songs, take calls. I'm a fully automated DJ. That's as good a sign as any. Time to say goodbye to this app. Believe your own eyes, cause that won't happen twice. Blink and you will miss it. Don't lose your focus. Something fair. The jungle.